Hello everyone and welcome back to the next video in this tutorial series on using Adobe Edge Animate. So um, what I want to show you now is how to make draggable objects um, within Adobe Edge Animate, okay? And you can even animate those objects that you can drag and you can turn those into links. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do, okay? And there's lots of opportunities for making games and interactive uh, websites, all kinds of fun stuff, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and preview what I have in a browser right now. Okay, and you can see my leaves are falling, okay? And um, based on the tutorials before this one in this series, this is no big deal, right? Pretty easy. Except for check this out. I can actually drag these around, and I'm actually viewing this in a browser, right? And not only can I drag these around, but I can actually click on them, and it takes me to my website, okay? So uh, it's a pretty uh, interesting feature right here. Okay, and now where I learned this technique was from... Uh, Paul Tranny from this video right here. Okay, so um, I want to give credit to Paul Tranny. This is his technique. I definitely recommend watching his video. And actually, he's a great guy to follow. Um, he also makes tutorials for Lynda.com. But uh, definitely a lot of cutting edge stuff coming from this guy. So uh, anyway, this is a technique by Paul Tranny. Anyway, what what's going on with this technique? So you have to extend the uh, what. Adobe Edge Animate can do, okay? And you can actually add this jQuery library to your uh, folder that your Edge Animate project is saved in, and that will extend the functionality beyond what you can normally do with Adobe Edge Animate. So this is pretty cool. So anyway, um, you can see right here, here's a demonstration how you can drag this object around. So anyway, go ahead and explore this site, read through it, jQueryUI.com. And um, there's a whole lot of neat stuff here. There's a ton of stuff that you can do. I mean, it's just, it's pretty neat. Anyway, I'm going to come over here to download and go ahead and just leave everything at the default settings and then you just download it, okay? And I've already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I have that right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open that. Okay, now we only need one file out of here, okay? We need this one right here, jQuery dash ui dot min dot js okay and um let's see i'm gonna go ahead and well first let's instead of actually showing you how i put this together let's start from the very beginning so i'm gonna come over here to new and let's go ahead and draw an ellipse i'm going to convert that to a symbol and we'll just call it ellipse okay Okay, so now we have an ellipse symbol, okay? And of course, we can drag it around on our stage, but if we preview in a browser, we cannot drag it around, okay? So that's what we need to do, is extend the functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we'll just call it dragging, all right? And we'll put it in a new folder, and we'll call that folder dragging as well, all right? Okay, so now that we've saved that, let's go over here and take a look at dragging. Now. Um, what we need to do is we need to add the file that I just showed you right here to this. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy it, come in here, and we'll paste it. Just like that, okay? That's all we needed to do. Nice and easy, okay? Now, of course, that's not enough. We haven't given it any instructions yet. So let's go ahead and uh, try that. Cannot drag around our ellipse yet, okay? So um, let's see, back in dragging. Here is the file that we added. I'm going to actually select it and uh, copy, okay? Because I need that name. All right. So let's see here. Okay, so now what I want to do is come over here to my stage and open the actions right here for my stage. I'm going to come up here to creation complete, all right? And we need to type in a little bit of code to reference the jQuery library that we just added, okay? So I'm going to type in, uh, yep, nope. Okay, parentheses, curly brace, nope, colon, space, um, left square bracket, single quotation mark, and then I'm going to paste in the name of that library that we just added here. Okay, another single quotation mark, and then a uh, right square bracket, comma, I'm going to type in the word complete, and then another, oops, not another comma, a uh, colon, n-i-i-t in it okay and then we have to close everything that we've just opened so now i have to do the uh right curly brace the right parentheses and then a semicolon okay so um there you go go ahead and pause that if you need to copy that down 
So now we can actually uh, initialize this function. So uh, function init open and closed parentheses, and then open curly brace. I'm going to hit enter a couple of times here just to uh, create some space in my block here. Okay. Now um, it's surprising how easy this is actually. So we have a symbol over here, and that symbol is called ellipse, right? Okay. So I'm just going to type in sym dot dollar sign uh, left. Uh, open parentheses, single quotation, ellipse, single quotation mark, uh, right parentheses, dot, draggable, open and close parentheses, semicolon. Okay, that's it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this, hit save, and go ahead and preview in a browser. Okay, so there we go, draggable object. This could be any kind of object you want. It can be text. It can be an animated GIF or sprite. It can be um, any image that you bring in. You know, you can make some buttons, um, but you name it, right? And you can drag them around, and you can actually um, click on them. Let's go ahead and talk about how would you make this something that you can click on? Well, you, all you have to do is select it, right? Come over here to the actions and open up. Go to click, and let's see. What function shall we add? How about links? link in the same window there you go adobe just like that let's go ahead and just hit save and preview in a browser all right so i can drag this around and if i click on it it takes me to adobe okay so just like that and i think that about does it right there um go ahead and explore this and give it a shot it's definitely a really fun one